Hey guys, Joe back again, another episode of Getting Junk Done, and today we are going to talk about my new nail gun. It's the DeWalt 20V Max Cordless Framing Nailer. It's model number DCN692, and it comes with everything you see here in this case. It comes with the nail gun itself, one 4 amp hour battery, and a charger for that battery. I also, in this kit, added one of my extra uh, 1.5 amp hour batteries, one of the third amp hour batteries, just so I have something for a backup. Now let's take a look at the gun itself and see what it can do. Now I want to let you guys know right off the bat that I have very little practical experience with nail guns in general. I have used some pin nailers and things like that uh, for small projects and I have also used in a very limited uh, amount a pass load framing nailer just for a couple of shots here and there. It was a friend's tool that I was helping him out with a job and he handed me the gun that's about it. A couple of shots. So, I have a couple of construction projects coming up that I really wanted to make sure I had the proper tools to take care of that. And a framing nailer was at the top of the list. So I did some research and I narrowed it down to the DeWalt cordless, the 20 volt you see here, versus the pass load. That is pretty much, in terms of specs, very, very similar to what you see here. Now the reason why I went with this over the pass load is the need for the pass load to purchase more fuel as you run out of that. With the DeWalt, you get a fully charged battery, you put that guy in there, load it up with nails. That's all you're ever going to need. The only ongoing purchase with this is the nails. Okay. Now with the pass load, you have the nails and the fuel. So th there's that. And I wanted to make sure that once I bought this tool, that was it. I also realized that with this DeWalt, the 4 amp hour battery came with the kit. Now I have other DeWalt tools that I use regularly, so I had a ton of those little 1 and 3rd amp batteries. So having a 4 amp hour battery added to my collection was just one more positive. So having said that, the nails that this guy uses is also the same nails that you would use in your pass load framing nailer. So this is what I was buying to make sure that uh, I was able to have the right nails that went in this gun. It's the 30 degree uh, full head or clipped head nails that you would use normally, and this is what we got. No big deal, you find these at any store really, and uh, nothing fancy going on there. I do like this gun a lot. I used it so far to uh, work on a deck. I redid the entire decking, uh, ripped up all the boards and replaced them from one end to the other. Did the uh, redid the railing and the banister for the steps with this nail gun. I also built a rabbit hutch with this. Only fasteners used were the uh, interior nails that you just saw using this nail gun, and it worked perfectly. I also am in mid project of uh, an outdoor shower slash water tower for the off grid property that you're going to see eventually in a video. So anyway, that's my experience. That's why I chose this gun over the pass load, and that's what I've used this gun for so far. So let's take a look at the gun and break down all its positives and negatives as far as I can find so far. So loading this nail gun could not be easier. Once you're out of nails, you take this, this little knob here and you pull this all the way back until it clicks. If it doesn't click and it just does one of these, you didn't get it all the way. Pull it up until it clicks into place. Then you take your strip of nails, the same nails again that the pass load uses, slide them in, and then release that. You're done. You're loaded. You're ready to go. Then the great thing is that this has a lock button. So if you push it from the left side in, the trigger cannot be pulled. It can't even be depressed at all. Nothing. You got to go to the other side, push it in like that, and now it's unlocked. I really like the grip on this nail gun because it's pretty much identical to their drills and impact drivers and it's the same type of muscle memory. You got the reverse and the forward and it's the same idea. It's the same exact trigger and everything. So there's that familiarity that comes with the DeWalt tools. And the battery, same idea, clicks in the bottom, you got the idea. So all that is DeWalt. First feature I want to mention that I really like is the rafter hook. I usually have it spun out of the way and it's, it's tucked 
in a position where it's not going to get hung up on anything. But you can easily spin this out and it kind of clicks into place in certain locations. And you can use this hook to hang it on a rafter or the, the uh, ladder that you're working on. If you're climbing up and down, this saves you problems of having to lug the nail gun up and down with you. So you hang it up, climb down, get what you need, go back up, gun's waiting for you. The next feature of this gun that I really like is that it has two speeds. And you can see a description right here on the inside of this area. It does two to three inches in speed one, and it does three and a quarter to three and a half inch in speed two. Now how you change the speed is this knob right here. Speed two, speed one. Now what's great about that is the battery will last longer if it's in speed one. If it's in speed two, the gun gives it a little bit more oomph, but it takes more juice out of the battery. So it'll drive a longer nail in, but again, the battery won't last as long in speed two. So that makes a lot of sense. It can serve batteries when it can. Not only does this gun have two speeds, but it also has two modes. What I like to call single shot or continuous shot. I don't know if those are the official names according to DeWalt, but that's what I've been calling them. So the uh, single shot is what I've spent most of my time in, uh, redoing the deck and building the rabbit hutch and things like that. And basically, you try to pull the trigger, nothing happens. You have to depress this nose piece, let it amp up, and you'll hear an electronic buzz, and then you pull the trigger to release the nail. So a little something like this. If you let it amp up properly, the nail will get sunk flush every time. But if you rush it, you'll get situations like that where the nail won't go in all the way. So if using the single shot mode, let it warm up in enough time. Now having said that, this might be slower some, than some of the other types of nail guns, especially the, the air powered nail guns. I've seen guys just boom, 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 and they're all flush. You gotta let this guy take a second to get going. Versus. So, this was the one that I did first, and it gave it enough time, it's flush. This is the one, you can see it sticking out, that I just did now. I rushed it, so it didn't sink all the way. Don't rush it. Now the other mode is the continuous mode, where if you take this switch here, flip it to the right, you might be able to see the picture there. Okay, multiple nails. All you gotta do is hold the trigger down and then connect it one by one by one. I've seen roofers do it this way. Now, I don't like this mode. I don't typically have a use personally for this mode, but as you can see, these nails that I just did, none of them are flush. Now that could be user error, that could be my mistake. I'm willing to admit that. If for some reason you're getting an issue consistently with that, you're able to adjust the depth that they drive, that the battery drives the nail. So I'm assuming that a little bit more oomph comes out of the battery. If you go to the right here, like this, just dial this, okay? That drives the nail in deeper. You go to the left, that yeah, doesn't drive the nail in as deep. So if it's going too deep, go to the left. If it's not going deep enough, go to the right. And that will adjust how deep it goes. Now, if you've used any nail gun, you know for a fact that these guys occasionally jam. And he's jammed a couple times on me, but nothing serious. You just have to go down in this area. It comes with an onboard tool. It's a little Allen wrench that stays in this clip here. Pull this out. And if you do get a jam, this is all you need to fix it. You go up to this area here, up at the top, and you're going to loosen these two Allen heads. You loosen it, like so, righty tighty, lefty loosey, nothing different here. So you loosen them up, and eventually you're going to loosen those two up until you hear the mechanism inside here click back. Once it clicks back, the jam is basically cleared. And occasionally what I've found is that you have a nail that got bent somehow and did not eject properly. So it got bent and it's jammed up in here. At that point, you can pull it right out. You're good to go. That's the extent of the jamming that I've had. And it's happened half a dozen times in thousands of nails that I've driven. So this gun in general has many, many positives. 
It uses the pass load nails that are easily available. The battery that it came with is four amp hours and can be used in my other DeWalt tools as well. It's got the two modes and the two speeds. Having said all that, there's no oiling needed at all. This gun is ready to go. You put a fresh battery in, you can start nailing things and all that. Fixing the uh, jams piece of cake with the onboard tool, I really like that feature. It's really nice because how many times have you had a jam in a tool, whether it's a nail gun or not, and you had to search around for the tool you needed to fix your tool you're trying to use. It slows everything down. This is kept right on board. It's there at all times. In the end, my choice came down to this DeWalt or the comparable pass load, but they were exactly the same price at the time that I was looking. They were both $399. So for $399 plus tax, I was out the store with this nail gun, and I don't need to buy any fuel or anything like that. This gun is good to go. And the things that I've built with this, it saved me so much time. Even though a box of nails that I've had to buy was a considerable amount of money. This was between 45 and $60, it's somewhere in that range. It's still cheaper than buying screws in bulk. So, you know, a nail gun is a lot faster than an impact driver and buying all the nails are cheaper than the screws that the impact driver would use. So this has been one of my best friends lately and I've built a couple things and uh, I've fixed a couple things with it. It's great, I highly recommend it and I haven't had any problems with it. And I think that if you're looking for a nail gun, especially if it's your first one, and you don't have a solid sized air compressor, and you're caught between the pass load and the DeWalt, go DeWalt. This has been my favorite tool that I've bought in a long time. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please click like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I can be found on Twitter and Instagram, at Getting Junk Done. Thanks for watching.